The thing I like most about uteruses is, is no, it's not uteruses. What's the plural of uterus? Uteri? My name is Simone Yetch, and today we're gonna talk about the menstrual cycle in collaboration with the Cotex She Can Initiative. So, the thing I like most about the uterus is that it's the only organ in your body that has an agenda. Like, your lungs are breathing, your heart is pumping blood, your kidneys are making pee, and meanwhile, your uterus is like, hey, you, me, let's make some babies. And I'm like, maybe I don't wanna have a baby right now. And the uterus is like, well, I've been working on this all month and the groundwork has all been set already. And um, ah, yeah, it turns out I don't care what you want. <laughs> it's, it's an ovary headband, I made it, I made an ovary headband. The groundwork in this case is what's known as the menstrual cycle, and it's this really complex process that can be difficult to understand. And whenever I struggle with something, my solution is always to build a machine. So here we are. It's a uterus, or an anatomically adjacent uterus at least. We have the ovaries, the fallopian tube, the uterus, the cervix, the vagina, and I also added some cogwheels for extra flair. You don't actually have cogwheels in your body and unless you eat some, which I can't recommend because they don't taste very good. So the way I think about the menstrual cycle is like this really elaborate dating program. We have the contenders, also known as thousands of eggs that live in your ovaries. You're actually born with about a million of them and by the time you hit puberty, there's about 300,000 of them and then it's just steady downhill from there. So all these eggs are hanging out in the ovaries, hoping one day that they'll get to meet some sperm. I don't want to be the one that tells them, but most of them won't actually even get a chance. Only about 300 of your eggs will actually get ovulated and the rest will just hang out in the ovaries until they die of old age and possibly boredom. So the ovaries take turns releasing eggs and that's what's known as ovulation. Should we ovulate? I mean, not we, but the the machine. There's a remote. Okay. Ovulate. This is actually something that kind of happens in the body as well. The connection between the fallopian tubes and the ovaries are not a perfect fit. So some eggs will just like wander out into the abdomen and find their own adventures until they also die and get reabsorbed into the body because it's a really harsh life being an egg. Been there, done that. Oh yeah. <laughs> Innovation for ovulation. Each fallopian tube is four to five inches long and it takes about six to 12 days for the egg to travel through it. There are a lot of things that are impressive about this process. The speed at which the egg travels is not one of those things. And it's during this journey that there's a 12 to 24 hour window where the egg finally has its chance to meet the sperm of its dreams. I was today years old when I learned that fertilization happens not in the uterus, but in the fallopian tube. So like in the hallway on the way to the uterus bedroom. Does it mean that the uterus isn't hard at work? It's producing this really stringy discharge that makes it easier for the sperm to climb. It's like throwing ladders down the vagina, being like, hey, there's a new egg in town, come up here. The lining of the uterus is also growing thicker and it's essentially like decorating an entire baby room just in case a fertilized egg comes around. but most of the time, no sperm comes by. The egg contestant gets stood up in the fallopian tube and it finishes its travel alone and out the door. And since no pregnancy happened, the uterus starts shedding all that extra lining and that's what getting your period is. It's just the uterus shedding the perishable items that it doesn't need since there's no baby growing. Generally, we bleed around 100 to 200 milliliters per period which might not sound like a lot, but it can sure feel like it. And some people experience discomfort during different parts of the menstrual cycle, like achy boobs, bloating, cramps, and mood swings. And also some people barely have any symptoms at all. The complete menstrual cycle is between 21 to 35 days long. And 
half of the human population spend a big part of their lives with this very elaborate egg sperm dating program playing out in their bodies. None of us would be around if it wasn't for the menstrual cycle. Like, it's this big reason of why we're alive. Does it get credit for that though? I don't think so. Often periods just get treated as something that's dirty or embarrassing, and we don't really talk a lot about it, even though it can have a big impact on our lives. So if you ever feel down because you're having your period, just remember that you can bleed for five days without dying. And if that's not cool, then I don't know what is. Still going. It'll take a couple of days actually. The menstruation machine was created in collaboration with the Kotex She Can Initiative, an organization that champions women's progress by fighting period stigmas and the barriers they cause. Do we really need to do this every month though? Yes. Why? Because I want to. Okay, but what if I could pee out the period blood instead? No, no, this system is a masterpiece. Also that reminds me that I gotta run because we're scheduled to release another egg in two days. And I can tell you this one is gonna be a good one. Okay, ciao.